Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. Good to be able to connect with you again. Today is, can you say this with me? April the 15th. April the 15th. Remember, 15 is in the teen family. Numbers in the teens, they start with one. We don't really say five. We don't say five teen, do we, boys and girls? That sounds super silly. We say 15. So say that with me. April the 15th. And remember our year. You guys are really good at that. We're saying 2020. Now, some people say 2020, and that's A-OK -okay too. All right, so today is W Wednesday. Do you remember what sound W Wednesday has at the beginning? You should be saying a W sound. A W. That is W W Wednesday. Remember our hand motion we did? The wind is blowing. W W. Remember, springtime right now. We do have a lot of wind, don't we, boys and girls? It has been windy this week. All right, there's something extra special about today, too, being April the 15th. Today is one of our friends' birthday. Today, boys and girls, is Mason's birthday. So happy birthday, Mason. And we are excited for you as you're turning. How old is Mason today, boys and girls? Six years old. Very good. Six years old. So, Mason, we're going to pretend to give you a hug today for your birthday. Your birthday hug and we're wishing you a very happy birthday. I know you'll enjoy some special treats on your birthday. All right, well, boys and girls, today I brought a story to share with you. It's a little longer story maybe than we've read before, but I thought it was such a great story that you would want to hear this story, all right? But before we do that, I do want to remind you of the Bible verse that we're reviewing. It's found, everybody say Isaiah 58, 11. It's one that we've had before, the Lord will guide you always. All right. The Lord will guide you always. What a great Bible verse to remember. The Lord will always be with us. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at another new Bible verse that we've had too. All right. Well, today our story is about a turtle that we've read before. I bet you guys remember his name. Do you remember who it is? Can you say Franklin? Franklin. We've read about Franklin before, and you probably can see why I picked this great story, because I know many of you like to play. What is this game, boys and girls? It's soccer. Franklin plays the game. Plays. It's got that PL sound. Pl plays. Tricky word, the game. Franklin plays the game, and you can tell he's got some friends there, and we're going to talk about that today, boys and girls, because just like many of you, Franklin is on a team. And give me a thumbs up if you're on a team. Yeah, maybe you're on a, a baseball team or you have been before. You're on the wrestling team like uh, Cannon, Brandon, I know on a soccer team and many of you on a team. Now, when you look at this book today, you're going to see it's got a little scribble scrabble mark on it. I think one of my kids actually did this when they were little, but I think you'll enjoy the story about Franklin. So listen as I read the story. Franklin could take down a river ba bank. He could tie his shoes and count by twos. He could walk to Bear's house by himself, but Franklin couldn't kick a soccer ball straight. That was a problem because Franklin wanted to be the best player on his team. All right, so maybe you're kind of like Franklin. There's something it's a little tough for you to do. Franklin loved soccer. He liked running and the dribbling. He especially liked the uniforms. He wore his purple and yellow jersey and matching shin pads even when he wasn't playing soccer. Sometimes he slept with his soccer ball and dreamed of scoring goals. Before every game, Franklin practiced in the park. He kicked the ball with the inside of his foot again and again. He did warm-up stretches and cool-down walks. Still, Franklin had trouble. He couldn't run very fast, even without a soccer ball between his feet. And when Franklin kicked the ball, it never went 
where he intended. Goose watched Franklin's ball fly into the bushes. I'll never score a goal, said Franklin sadly. Neither will I, said Goose. I keep forgetting the rules that says I cannot use my wings unless I'm a goalkeeper. Everybody gets mad at me. Goose showed Franklin how wide her wings stretched. Beaver was watching too. And I'll never score a goal, she said, because my tail is so long and heavy that it drags me down. She ran for a bit. Franklin and Goose could see the problem. No wonder we never win any games, grumbled Franklin. It was true. Franklin's team had not won a game all season. Bears team won every game. Losing, losing didn't bother Coach. She said the same thing before each game. Let's have fun out there. Losing didn't bother par Franklin's parents, who shouted, Nice try, whenever Franklin's got the ball. But it bothered Franklin a lot. What's wrong? asked Franklin's father. I never score a goal, answered Franklin. But you try and you have fun, said Franklin's father. That's the important thing. Franklin nodded. That's what all the grown-ups said, but he really wanted everybody to cheer for him. He wanted to score a goal. It wasn't only Franklin who felt that way. Each of Franklin's friends wanted to score a goal, but the harder they tried, the worse they played. Franklin forgot where to stand. Goose forgot what to do. Whenever the ball came to Franklin's teammates, they rushed toward it. Players tripped over feet and tails and long ears. They crashed into a heap. Coach helped untangle the players. You have to work together as a team. You have to share the ball. But it wasn't easy to do. Their team lost again. It made the players feel sad. Franklin huddled inside his shell. Beaver tucked in her tail and Goose flapped her wings and folded them up. The other team crossed the field to shake hands. Nice try, said Bear. Franklin didn't come out of his shell. Bear bounced the ball up and down. Come on out, Franklin, said Bear. Franklin poked out his head. And at that moment, Bear's ball was coming up. Franklin bounced the ball off the top of his head and it went flying straight to Goose. She spread her wings. Saved, Franklin shouted. Beaver was so excited that she flapped her tail up and down. That's it, cried Franklin. What is it, asked Bear. Franklin smiled at Beaver and Goose. I think I know how we can score goals, he said, patting his head. But it will take some teamwork. Every day until the next game, Franklin and the team practiced in the park. Coach helped them work on a special play. They giggled and laughed and dribbled and bounced. They played in the rain and slid in the mud. One day, Bear came by. What are you doing, he asked. Just having fun, said Franklin. We he could hardly wait to the next game. It was time for the final game. The teammates huddled together. Let's show them what we can do, said Franklin. But within the first minutes of the game, Bears team scored a goal. Team, said coach, it's time for your special play. Goose went into the goal. She spread her wings as much as she wanted and made three spectacular saves. The crowd cheered. Goose spotted Franklin on the field and tossed the ball to him. It landed on Franklin's head. One strong bob and Franklin sent the ball soaring to Beaver. With a swish of her tail, Beaver passed the ball to Rabbit. He lifted his big foot and kicked the ball into the net. Franklin's team scored. The teammates jumped for joy and hugged one another. 
For the rest of the game, they played their best. Franklin even headed the ball twice, but nobody on his team scored again. Bears team scored one more time to win the game. Coach gave all the players a ribbon. You should be proud of yourself, she said. You worked hard as a team. You all helped score that goal. And Franklin's parents invited the team out for a treat. Why, asked Franklin. Our team didn't win. You look like winners to us, said his father. Franklin had to agree. They were tired and dirty and happy. Sure signs of a winning team. Look at that. All right. Yeah, wasn't that great, boys and girls? Even though they didn't win, wasn't that awesome, all that teamwork they had? It takes teamwork to, to do those things and to do them well. And sometimes we play and we don't win, right? Just like games in the classroom. We play games, sometimes we win, sometimes we don't win. Sometimes we uh, just learn, and that's okay. But it sure takes a lot of teamwork. So I think you know why I like that teamwork there for Franklin and his friends. I hope you're being a teamwork at home, boys and girls. You know, with mom and dad, brother and sister, you need to be a team player. Um, sometimes we have to do things we don't want to do. Maybe it's our schoolwork. Maybe it's some help around the house. But we want to be a team player, just like Franklin, and work together. All right? Sometimes we win, and sometimes we just learn. But we want to have fun and do it with a happy heart. So hope you enjoyed that story. We'll come back in a couple of minutes, and you'll be ready to work on your handwriting.